Today's park review is Funtown Splash Time USA, located in Saco, Maine. It is an amusement park. This park has some cool rides, so here is my official review for the park. So first, let's talk about the roller coasters. This park has two roller coasters. Their larger coaster is Excalibur, which is a CCI. I did do a review for the coaster if you want to watch it. Link is in the description. They also have a Wild Mouse, and their Wild Mouse is actually a reverse. So instead of heading out of the station turning left like most Wild Mouses, this one goes to the right. So this park has 26 non-coaster rides, which is definitely not a lot. They pretty much only have one or two thrilling f flat rides. My favorite flat ride is their SNS drop tower called Dragon's Descent. It's also the tallest drop tower in New England, and I think this might be my favorite drop tower that I have ridden. It's a really fun drop tower. Another ride I liked was their scrambler ride called Astrosphere. It's a scrambler ride that is in this dome, and you've got some music and stroll lights. It's really cool. Those are the main key for the flat rides. Before I talk about the pricing, this was very unexpected that you actually have to wear a wristband to enter the park. This is not a free admission park, but you do have to pay to get in and one of the requirements is a wristband. This must be a park rule, but I do not know anything about it. Now for the pricing, one day will be $43. They also have this after three thing, so if you want to head into the park after 3 p.m., they'll cut down the ticket prices to $26. Little Combo and Seniors are $34. Little Combo is between 38 and 48 inches, and Seniors are 60 and older. As for the food, I just had french fries, and the french fries were pretty tasty, so I liked it. We got the food at a concession stand near the water park. As for the operations, they weren't that bad. Excalibur Excalibur ran one train, but I think they were pretty quick with the operations. We did go on a dead day, so there weren't, weren't much of long lines. Mostly a lot of people were at the water park, so the dry park was pretty dead. But for the operations, I thought they were good. As for the appearance, it's a very charming park, especially the Excalibur Plaza. When you walk into the Excalibur Plaza, you see this bridge, and you go like right across it. I thought the whole park was very pretty. For the people that go to this park, I thought they were pretty nice, and same with the staff. And in my opinion, this is going to be an unpopular opinion, but this is my, the second best park that I've been to with the staff being first being Palace Playland. So Maine has two parks that have very friendly people. So the layout of this park is pretty much a circle with so much shortcuts. Like, you see Excalibur in the parking lot, but you actually have to walk all the way around to get to Excalibur. So, to wrap things up, should you visit Funtown Splash on USA? If you're in Maine, I think it's worth it, especially you got Palace Playland 10 minutes away. You can get the two credits and then head to Palace Playland for a day. So that is it for my Funtown Splash Town USA review located in Saco, Maine. If you've been to this park, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Link is in the description. And of course, subscribe for more Coaster Box videos, and I'll catch you guys later.